Hello, this is Ray Main here again with today's Bible reading. Today we're going to be reading in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord God of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus saith the Lord, We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now, and see, whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned unto paleness? Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. For it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck, and will burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. But they shall serve the Lord their God, and David their king, whom I will raise up unto them. Therefore fear there not, O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord. Neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of their captivity, and Jacob shall return, and shall be in rest, and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to save thee. Though I make a full end of all nations, whither I have scattered thee, yet will I not make a full end of thee. But I will correct thee in measure, and will not leave thee altogether unpunished. For thus saith the Lord, Thy bruise is incurable, and thy wound is, deviant, is grievous. There is none to plead thy cause, that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicines. All thy lovers have forgotten thee. They seek thee not, for I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy, with the chastisement of a cruel one, for the multitude of thine iniquity, because thy sins were increased. Why criest thou for thine affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thine iniquity, because thy sins were increased. I have done these things unto thee. Therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be for a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord, because they call thee an outcast, saying, This is thine whom no man seeketh after. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tents, and have mercy on his dwelling places, and the city shall be builded upon her own heap, and a palace shall remain after the manner thereof. And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. And I will also glorify them, and they shall not be small. Their children also shall be as aforetime, and their congregation shall be established before me, and I will punish all that oppress them. And their nobles shall be of themselves, and their governor shall proceed from the midst of them, and I will cause him to draw near, and he shall approach unto me. For who is this that engaged his heart to approach unto me, saith the Lord? And ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. Behold, the whirlwind of the Lord goeth forth with fury, a continuing whirlwind. It shall fall with pain upon the head of the wicked. The fierce anger of the Lord shall not return until he have done it, and until he have performed the intents of his heart. In the latter days ye shall consider it. Well, that's the reading for today. Jeremiah forecasting the return of Israel, which took place. Now, there was a 70-year return, 70-year uh, of their captivity. That, that took place, but then there was a return of the people that were scattered. The major return that he's talking about here happened in 1948 when the state of Israel was reestablished. And it's, a, it's, you know, that little nation state what I hear, it's a lesson in, in area than the state of Rhode Island in the United States. And yet they produce something like 15, 20% or something like that of the, of the produce that, that is shipped worldwide. Uh, they have been able to take that desert and make it produce 
enough food to feed all of them and, and, and ship worldwide. They have received more of the Nobel Prizes for physics and uh, astronomy and, and medicine and, and uh, Lord knows what all than any other nation in the world. They uh, are one of the world powers with no bigger a nation state than what they are. The Muslim nations in the area, the whole area have been uh, screaming they're going to annihilate them for years and years and years now, but they still haven't been able to do it. How come all that's happened? It's because in spite of the majority of them still yet not serving God like they should, they are still have the they still have the covering of God. There's no other answer that will suffice, folks. They're still under the under the covering of God. Now, are they God's chosen children? They were God. I'm going to change that. They're God's chosen people. He still has a place in His heart for them. But with the New Testament, with and there, you know, we've seen a lot of the prophecies of the Messiah, uh, and all through the Old Testament here, God made a better way than the temple worship, the the animal sacrifice. So for these folks to come. Uh, up to a better way, I'll say it that way, then they're going to have to come in the same as you and I. Jesus said, I am the door. I am the way. Any that come any other way is the same as a thief and a robber. So they're going to have to recognize Jesus as the Son of God, the Messiah, their Savior, the same as you or any other Gentile. I'm adopted into that Jewish community, if you will, I'm an adopted into that that uh, family of Israel. I'm adopted into that uh, as a, as a child of that family. Not only as as I came in through Jesus Christ through the Holy Ghost as a member of the new covenant, if you will. I'm also fully access to the promises that God gave to the children of Israel back there because I am an heir and a co-heir with Jesus Christ as it says in the 8th chapter of Romans so anyway that's rambling a little bit but I just wanted to show you that these folks they've got the same chances what you've got the people today have the same chances what you've got but all you got to do is just watch the news a little bit and you'll understand that God still has his hand on that people. Still yet. Believe it or not, it doesn't really matter whether you believe the truth or whether you don't. That doesn't make it not the truth. <laughs> but anyway, that's enough for today. Until next time, may God bless you.